的的的的 steam。哦， the shuffle. I'm just gonna keep picking the one at the top. Death and taxes. Makes it easy. What are you picking? Hmm. Oh, where we? There's no more scrollies. Oh man. Oh man. Oh man. Oh shit. Oh. I'm gonna go with Earthworm Jim. I I know for a fact Earthworm Jim is not on here, but okay. Uh. Oh! Oh, was it? Oh no. No, no, oh no! Oh no! Oh no! Oh no! If oh, no. if this would have happened before this game came out, I would have been so excited. But you're we're we're not in for a treat. <laughs> so buckle up and get ready. Oh, right as the music starts. Welcome everybody. Cooks are forever. This game requires a tad bit of talking before we play it. I fucking love Cook, Serve, Delicious, one, two, and three. They are some of my favorite games. I love cooking, so I love those games. I think they are fantastic. They offer a bunch of different options to casual players, more complex options to people who want to have a bit of a challenge. Uh, there's co-op and I think two and three. Me and Joe both played the co-op, and it's it's chaotic goodness. It's just so fun. I would I would say it's um it's distinct to say before the chunts it was us on a couch playing this godforsaken series, <laughs> yelling and uh, really Screaming. really. If there's any game that we've played in the past before the channel existed that encapsula encapsulates what it's still like to do like steamos and just the chunks in general it is cook serve delicious yes i completely agree with that uh kayla sitting on the ground screaming at the screen pointing telling us to get our sides ready yes, um, guest star kayla yeah you guest know, star kayla um we i i have been anticipating this game cook serve forever coming out forever <laughs> and it released to not good reviews and it looks like they just kind of slaughtered the game and let's I, get into it though Let's get into it. Let's see how bad it really is. We're just going to go right into standard. Welcome. In Cook, Serve Forever, you will take your food cart across the city of Helentheus, uh, choosing your location, recipes, secret sauces for each day, and this demo, the foods and locations are randomly selected each time you play. So right off the bat, that is not what Cook, Serve Delicious looks like. <laughs> like this, this is If this is what the game's going to play like, this is let's not... Get into it. Let's, let's get, get into, into it. it. Cooking. Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm not even going to read this stuff. We're, we're just going to get right into wait, it. Wait. Okay. Wait, oh, oh, no. Can I get... Oh, shit. Where's the controls? Oh, look at this loading screen. Interesting. That's a, that's a cool loading screen. Oh, my God. What am I? B th uh, three times. Uh, B, X, B, A, Y. Oh, it's a hold? A, Y. B, X. Nice. Y, four times, not B. Oh, so you just don't hit B, not B. Hold B, X, B, question mark. Not B, any. That's the same thing as not a button. What what happened? Why why did it make the the Cook, serve okay? <laughs> Wait, what did I do wrong? What is happening? What am I doing wrong? Cook, serve okay. Oh, fuck. Guest star Kodiak. Cook, serve okay. What do you fucking mean? <laughs> Fuck, I fucked it up. Oh, I, I hit the wrong thing. Oh, they're so pissed at me. Oh my god. I know, I'm getting fucking annihilated here. Oh, 
I, God, you have to hold it down for like a weird mm, amount of that's time. Tasty. Mm, that's tasty. Nice. That's tasty. I had to fucking take a second to figure out what it was asking for on that last one. Love it. Yes. God damn it. God damn it. Like how there's like three voice lines. You're able to tell me what, how much longer is this? Like what, where's my progress? Like what am I doing? Peeling back the curtain, sometimes I get up and I do something in my room while we're doing a steam post. <laughs> <laughs> I muted my mic and I was like, mm, uh, scooping Kodiak's food bowl and <laughs> I was like, oh shit. <laughs> yeah, there's no uh, like indication of- No, uh, there's not really a time indicator. Of like what I'm doing. Also, I find myself really just staring at buttons to press. Like right. I'm not- yes. I'm not like focusing on like making sides or uh, what ingredients I need to put on. I'm just pressing buttons. Oh, that's fantastic. And that's it. Okay. Uh, I almost want to play another day, but like, I feel like that's it. That's what I did. That was the game. I don't know how it would get any different than that. From what I've looked at at the trailer, you know, I was excited for this game. I've watched the trailer for it. Um, it's, uh, it didn't... Let's let's just do let's let's do one more day and see if anything changes. I, th I feel like it's I, the same thing. I I wasn't looking at the the screen. Like I wasn't looking at any food. I wasn't looking at anything. It's just I immediately hit the wrong thing. Did we have the song before? No. Right? There was no song. Mm, that's tasty. Okay, so I guess the indicator might be in the bottom. That's like what time of day it is. Love it. Yes. I I liked it more when the when this band didn't say real words. I liked it more when it was ba ba da ba ba da 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 da. We don't have any disgruntled looking customers wanting their food and just waiting and staring at you while you're 
That's fucked up. Okay, so I think the thing on the right, the little sun... I have no idea what it is, actually. I was gonna say, I think that's the time of day it is, but I actually don't think it is. <laughs> Dude, this game had so much personality with the, the cooking before. This feels like a mobile game. It used to tell you what the re what the ingredients were, like you would do ingredient prep, you'd do a bunch of different things at once. It was so much more hectic. This is easier, but like... Oh, it's so much easier and I'm still fucking it up, but like... Yeah, it's like the soul like got ripped out of the game. I mean, that's pretty harsh, but... That's what it feels like dude i was i loved these games and like i don't know what i'm cooking i'm just hitting buttons i'm not i'm not like oh i'm making burgers right now i'm just hitting x and y okay, i don't like the the whole Uh, the art style is even like kind of different. Mm, that's I think tasty. it's semi familiar. It's, I mean, it's... like the portraits are different. I don't know what's up with the, the robot bunny. It, it's gonna sound weird, but this is usually you comment the robot fetishy women on the side. Like, this looks like something I'd find on like a fucking a hentai <laughs> website yeah, or like... something. Well, I, it's weird because it's like this is supposed to be, from what I've read, a separation from the original ones. The third one, Cook Serve Delicious 3, um, had the whole post apocalyptic thing where you're traveling around the country with two robots who basically are your waiter and your like side person who like tell you when you're. They like tell you things. Nori can't be stopped. Um, is, is that it? But. Yeah, it seems like they carried that over, and now there's just, like, robot people for some reason. But there was no humans. We're not serving food to, like, humans. They're kind of just... I don't actually don't even know if I'm serving the food to those people. Like, they're kind of just there. Um, fuck, man. I I was so excited for this, and that that's so disappointing. Uh, we'll, we'll leave uh, that up while the game... While we, while we score it, I guess. There's nothing else to do. The demo is super short. Um, get you in on the list. Yeah, this is this is gonna be a rough one. Um, it's this one. Honestly, it's like gonna be really hard to not be critical on it because of the previous games. Yeah, and I mean, it's kind of it's it's. I mean, it's unfair and it's not unfair. Like the, this is the first. Um, Steamo that is Actually, a sequel to a game that we've played. Yeah, exactly. We the this is the, this is the first one, and also just such a like a almost, like pretty much like an important game to me. Like, I love Cook Serve Delicious. I've I've spent so much time between two and three. I I don't think I've played too much of one, but um, and like just a lot of good memories with the game. A lot of funny stuff. A lot of I I love the mechanics. It actually was a game that got me into getting more serious about like cooking um like i i didn't really cook too much before we started playing cook serve delicious and i was like i want to get more into like cooking and making like weird dishes and no um <laughs> and uh, so yeah just like it really is a departure 
from the uh, from the original games. I I I'm gonna have to make this stop. They're gonna fucking interrupting me. And rudely interrupted. Um, yeah, so such a departure from what the original three were like. I can understand, you know, doing the same thing kind of three times in a row, maybe wanting to switch it up, but this was not it. This wasn't this wasn't how you do that. This was too much of a departure. It honestly, like, if I would have just focused a little more and taken my time, it's like baby easy. It's it's way too easy. And even if you made it more difficult, that wouldn't fix what they did to it. I want the side dishes back. I, uh, you know, in two, you had to do like dishes and take out the trash and stuff. Like you're operating a restaurant. This was just like, I'm hitting X, I'm hitting Y. Oh, don't hit Y. Oh, mystery button's gonna be next. And I'm just not looking at the food, which I feel like it's a game about cooking. And I'm just like, I don't even know what I made. I think I made burgers. I think I made hot dogs. I don't, I don't know. It, it just, it, it took the soul of cooking out of the game and just fucking made it a button mashing phone game. Um, yeah, it fucking sucks. I, I'm going to have to give it a, like a two, like, mm. uh, I, Shame. I don't want to give it a one, but you know, um, did you say shame or for, or same? I said shame. Okay. Yeah, I, that's really bummed out. This is, this is like the first Steamos that I am like actually upset about the low score that I have to give it. Like other games, it's like, I don't give a shit about these games. I have no connection well, to these I've games. I've been upset. Yeah, you've been <laughs> upset. I think you were upset in the last episode. <laughs> like, uh, I, this is like the first one. Like, this hurts for me to give it this low of a score. Um, such such a shame. Yeah. All right. Um. So, weirdly enough, a departure from the usual thing where I I'm end up being a little more harsh with some of these stuff and like, yeah, you're, you're all you're pretty harsh on it. You're taking into factor like those things. I think I'm going to paint it as. I don't. I'm not gonna allow the other games to inflex on my uh on my rating here. Okay. Because this is a separate game. Um, and I don't think anything's wrong with your rating. That's why we're separate on the ratings. Uh, it, by itself, it's it's a simple game, you know. Um, of course, when I compare it to the original Cooks of Delicious, like those those first three, it's complete departure. But if we're just looking at it as its own standalone game, if I'd never played this before, it's okay. It's super basic though. Um, you're just clicking buttons, very repetitive from even just the small moment we played. Um, I don't know what the main full game is like. Uh, spoiler, I do. But I'm trying to leave that out. So not only am I trying to leave the the past out, I'm leaving the future out. Because I, I we already did research on this game before we knew it was going to be a Steemo. Um, so there is a lot to go with it when on that aspect. But um, overall, it's just a simple game. It's um, the, the music's nice, you know. It's yeah. well, That's enjoyable. Other than that, it's a boring kind of meh game. I'll give it a four. Okay. Yeah. What, what really sucks about this is that if it would have been like a normal, like the original three, this could have very possibly been my first ten. Uh, I know it wouldn't have been your first ten, but it very possibly could have been my first ten. There's also, uh, they just removed co-op entirely. There's no co-op in yeah. this at all. Uh, now that we're moving on from the demo. Um, All right. On to the yeah. tids. Um, this is when I get scathing with it. I know what this game is. I know what it fucking is. I've read the reviews. I've looked at everything for this game. If this game <laughs> is out in early access already for a whopping $30. Yeah, Jesus. Big old $30 You can right get now. all three of the yeah, original for $30. That perspective, for th put that into perspective. You can actually get all of the games... All of them, including this one, for $34, $32. The Cook Serve series bundle, which includes this oh, new yeah. game, is $32. Um, <laughs> now it has been three years since the last release. Um, they have the uh, 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 the standard stuff. It's out, you know, 30 bucks. made by Vertigo Gaming. Um, they've done, like, one or two games in the past that weren't Cook Serve, but they're the Cook Serve Delicious company. That's what they're known for. That's what they do. 
they wanted to take a departure from the third game and go into this game. They decided to take their newfound budget, their newfound popularity, and put it all into story. The other games didn't really have a good of a story. The third one had some like humor story, but mm -hmm. not really a full fledged one. They hired well known voice actors. They talk about how they have Elspeth Eastman, who plays a character in League of Legends. They have a voice actor from the new Legend of Zelda game. And um, they have um, somebody from a different game. And then Sung Won Cho, who does a big YouTuber, does skits, who's also in God of War Ragnarok, stuff like that. Um, that's a uh, pro ZD, if you don't. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. That's cool. Um, uh, so they, they brought in a bunch of people to voice like full-fledged characters with story arcs that are in the game. And I'm sure that's a fun part of it. But they made a departure from the, the gameplay. They changed the gameplay and it feels like they took the heart out of the gameplay. I'm sure there's heart in the actual story, but we don't get to see that in the demo and we rate the goddamn demo. But um, Also, I didn't play these games for the fucking story. <laughs> like, if you want to make a story game with a bunch of fucking super well-paid voice actors, make a story game with a bunch of well-paid voice actors. But, like, why just completely destroy the original concept of these games that were so popular? Like, that's fucking crazy. Yeah, absolutely. Um, rough, rough. Um, the music, which was pretty good, was done by Jonathan Gear. He did um, Cooks of Delicious... Uh, um, two and three. I don't think he did the. I know he did the original as well. He also did Al Boys um, soundtrack, which is very well regarded. Um, so that's a good plus from that. Uh, but yeah, they, they spent their money on something else. They went to a different departure, um, and it's an early access. They could fix some things. If you think you're not bothered by the simplified gameplay, go for it. But that's what we liked about it, man. We liked that it was super stressful. I joke about how I hate this these games because it's so much fun, but it makes me want to pull my hair out. Oh like, yeah, it's stressful. It's so stressful. They're like the. It's like working in a real kitchen, which if anyone we've had. Done. Yeah, me and Joe <laughs> both have worked in a real kitchen. So like, we to for us to say it's as stressful as working in a real kitchen is crazy that a video game can emulate that so well. Of course, we're talking like line kitchen. It's not like yeah. I'm here. I'm the fucking. I'm the I'm mayor. The sous and I was chef. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> no, it's not like that. Like yeah, it, it, like a standard line kitchen. But that's still just. It's still stressful. You have you have peak times and stuff where you have to like yeah. hustle and like get shit done. Um, but yeah, no, it. This is not it. <laughs> this is this is just not it. That's all I have to say about it. If you're interested. Give it a try, man. They, Thirty dollars is a fucking big asking price. I don't think for, you uh, can get the demo anymore, but uh, go for it. Go for it, bud. I know you can't. Yeah, demo's not available, so uh, I I snuck the demo in. <laughs> Shouldn't have this. <laughs> um, yeah, fucking sucks. Really, uh, two two fucking fu one out of five stars on my Yelp review. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> 